Greetings, everyone. I thought today I would do a six-month review of my Canyon Pathlight 6. I have owned it. Um, really enjoy the bike. It's been through quite a few different weathers and terrains with me. Up and over. There we are. Um, there was a couple of things that I changed on the bike right away from the very, very beginning. Where, um, one was putting on clipless pedals. It came with some flats that were, you know, starter came with the bike not very good quality but um yeah so i put some clipless on there for sure that was uh that was one of the first things that i did um little things that i did after purchasing i bought a little storage bag it does have the capabilities of carrying panniers um, but i'm not carrying that much gear right now so the little bag and a backpack is all that i have needed one other thing that I did was put on a um, ass saver. Wow, so far, I'm impressed. It was the ass saver wind wing. And it was the, I believe it's the gravel edition um, that I put on. And that made a really big difference, actually. Um, no more dirty butt. I threw on a few little lights. A bell. I have a bell. I have my camera mounts. And then that was all I really did at first. Um, and I rode it for a while. Um, and then I found the seat, the stock seat that came with it to be super uncomfortable. Um, so I went ahead and I upgraded the saddle. That's the, uh, the WTB Coda. Um, really comfortable. Highly recommended seat. And it made a really big difference. Um, overall on the bike. So I think Canyon's idea for this bike was to be backpack touring, um, light gravel roads, some um, tarmac, sort of a, a combination of just light traveling and touring because it does have the capabilities of the panniers and the angles are such. So I bought it with the intention of doing a bit of highway traveling as well as a bit of gravel riding. Didn't really know how much riding I'd be doing. I hadn't ridden in a while, so I wasn't sure. So bought this as a kind of all arounder and it, it, it's worked really, really good for that. Um, it comes with a bit of front suspension, sun tour fork on this um, particular version, 75 millimeter travel. Um, which is, is actually um, nice when you're on the, on the gravel and uh, I do a lot of rocky terrain so that's, that's really nice and there is a, a locker that you can lock it out if you want for when you're on the highway um, especially when you're going up hills you don't really need that so you just want to lock that out up there um, it was really nice because it came with the XT Shimano XT um, rear derailleur and crank um, so that was really nice really nice shifting yeah that that's that's something I really enjoy about it the brakes are not the XT so that would be something that I would think about perhaps upgrading down the road the handlebars the grips have a little sort of platform on the end not my favorite at first I really liked them but I think I would prefer more hand positions, so I would probably look at getting some add-ons, I don't know about bar ends or something um, along the lines of that for a few more hand positions because I find I kind of get tired in that position after a while of riding. I think the thing I liked about it most was the easeability of the ride. It was just really smooth, really easy to get back on the bike. 
Um, and it kind of went anywhere I needed it to go. And it rolls really nicely. I was actually shocked at how fast it was going. So, um, yeah, to, to get back into bicycling and to just sort of go on a whole pile of mixed terrains, I found it was perfect. Um, I don't know if I would buy it again. If I was looking at getting a bike again, now that I know my surroundings, my neighborhood a bit better, uh, I know how much riding I want to do, I would probably look at getting a gravel bike, um, primarily for the, the handlebars and the hand positioning. Um, because otherwise, you know, this, this has got a lot going for it. It doesn't have a dropper post, um, which at first I was like, oh, no big deal. And I, I, you know, I can live without it, but I do like the dropper post. So that would be something that also is a consideration. The tires are really nice, um, 45 mil, and they roll really nicely. That's something that they say. And they actually do, the tread is really nice on the highway as well as on the gravel. Um, when you start to get into the really big rocks though, it can get, it can get a bit much, it kind of gets tossed around, but it keeps going. It just kind of rolls over everything. It's pretty impressive that way. The brakes aren't bad. Uh, you know, the, there's enough brake, I find. I'm not, uh, I'm not a super fast rider and going down the highways, I found it was more than enough. Yeah. So for the price and for the just over all aroundness. This bike is really good. If you lived in the, in a city and you needed to kind of go down a few, you know, dirt roads or, or back trails, park trails or something like that, as well as on the highway or city streets, it would be really good. It actually is, is pretty easy to maneuver. Um, yeah. So in you know, overall, it's a good bike. I enjoy it. I don't know. Like I said, if I'd buy it again, though, I might, I might look at getting a gravel bike, but, um, yeah, so far the path light after six months, I would recommend it um, to a lot of people. If you're just looking to get into bicycling or if you're doing a small tour, um, I haven't been on it for, for a whole, you know, couple of days in a row, but I would imagine once you get it all loaded up, it'd probably be very comfy. I enjoy the bike. It is a good time. So, I don't know, that's about it. If you're thinking of buying one and you have any questions, let me know. It's kind of why I wanted to make the video because when I went to buy the bike, I couldn't really find out much about it. Uh, there wasn't really a lot of reviews or anything like that. So I thought I put one out there. If you have any questions, if you're looking to buy one, let me know. I went with a size small. Uh, I'm five feet six inches, um, and I find that it's it's comfortable. I don't know if I want a smaller frame in this case, uh, especially if I was going touring. Um, so yeah, so the small for me worked out really good. And uh, it's pretty light. I forget how much it weighs, but it's not a heavy bike. And it's an easy bike to ride. It's fun. All right, well, that's about all I have. Thanks for watching. Safe travels. <laughs>